Hi, today we will speak about uh, anti-pollution devices and in particular about BA type backflow preventer. We will speak about their correct installation and we will speak about uh, their check procedure. Backflow preventer installation point must have easy access. Backflow preventer has to be installed in an horizontal position and uh, its discharge line has to be connected with a discharge pipe. As accessories for installation, Calefi always recommends an upstream strainer and an upstream and a downstream shut-off valve. Calefi always recommends to flush the pipe with a huge flow rate before the installation of the backflow preventer and before the installation of the strainer. Now we will see together how to install it the proper way. In order to install the components correctly, pay attention to the flow direction marked on the body. Pay attention to the tightness of the components using the proper sealing. Pay attention to the correct positioning of the gaskets. Then install the backflow preventer paying attention to the correct flow direction. The flow direction is marked on the body by an arrow. As last component, install the discharge tandish. After the installation, the following passage is the filling of the units. In order to do it, let's open slowly the upstream shut-off valve and then let's vent the air out of the unit by opening the pressure taps. Let's close the caps and let's open the downstream shut-off valve. Let's flush the unit and it's done. As first check with the downstream shut-off valve in closed position, we have to verify that the differential pressure between upstream test port and intermediate chamber test ports is at least 340 millibar. In our situation, the value on the display is bigger than 340 millibar, so we can take note on the inspection and maintenance protocol. As second test, let's close the upstream shut-off valve and let's decrease the pressure in the upstream chamber. When the device starts dripping from the discharge line, let's read the value on the display. Take note of that value as well. Now, let's completely decrease the upstream pressure value in order to discharge completely the device. The complete discharge of the device has to happen in a delta P bigger than 140 millibar. As a last check, we have to connect the differential manometer to the intermediate chamber and to the downstream area. We have to verify that the differential pressure between these two points is at least 70 millibar. If the downstream check valve is correctly operating, even if we decrease the downstream pressure value, the differential pressure between these two probes has to stay at least 70 millibar. Thank you for your attention and keep on following Calefi videos.